Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely well guys. So guys, in today's video, we are going to talk an important topic that is the mass layoff 2023. So recently, a lot of news is coming related to layoffs and in the previous months, we have considered that the recession was over, but it, it, not, it is not so because looking at the current news, what is the current news that is Wipro has fired 450 plus employees and Infosys has fired 500 plus employees in the previous month. So we are going to talk about this complete information in this video and after that we are also going to talk about onboarding updates from Wipro. So make sure to watch the video to complete and to know the answers for all these topics that is will this recession ever end or not and what about the freshers what they should do next and how can they overcome this thing. So make sure to watch the video till complete end and if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe to the channel because I regularly upload these kinds of helpful videos for all of you. Also make sure to follow us on Instagram because we regularly post job uh, off campus drives on our Instagram page as well. So let's start with our first topic that is the layoff news from Infosys. So recently we have been receiving this layoff news from the Infosys that Infosys uh, Indian IT giant Infosys has sacked 100 of freshers employees after they failed to clear the internal fresher assessment test business today has learned basically if you are not aware about uh, this fa test uh, this test is conducted in infosys once a fresher is uh, given the joining in infosys after that uh, the fresher has three to four months or approximately five months of training and after that there is an assessment that uh, infosys takes uh, now this assessment is called as fresher assessment or FA test. So previously the level of this assessment was very easy at Infosys and not many candidates used to fail this assessment but recently Infosys has leveled up the uh, level of this assessment and it is now very tough and what Infosys is doing from past few months is they are terminating candidates based on this test. So how do we get to know this information is a fresher who was onboarded at the company in August 2022 told business today I started working at Infosys in August last year and I was given training for SAP ABAP stream. So for those of you who do not know what is SAP ABAP so SAP uh, has a technical module in that uh, ABAP is a technical module now ABAP is a programming language of SAP so out of 150 in my team only 60 people passed the FA exam rest all of us were terminated two weeks ago from the previous batch freshers who were onboarded July 2022 nearly 85 freshers were terminated out of 150 after failing the test Sources claims that 600 employees have been terminated after failing the internal test. Two weeks ago, 208 freshers were fired after failing the FA test. In total, around 600 freshers have been fired after failing the FA test in the past few months. So let's see this uh, article which says that after Wipro, Infosys reportedly fired 600 freshers who failed the internal test. This is the report that we have. So let us look at look at it. What is the news and uh, now what the freshers need to do in with this uh, topic, right? So we have this article in front of us. In that it is mentioned that Indian IT giant Infosys is reported to fire 600 freshers who failed in the internal test, according to the media reports. This comes just after a few days after another IT firm Wipro laid off freshers who failed the internal test. So this is the. Uh, thing that we were just talking about so what can you do in this case so guys like uh, uh, what these companies do is they hire in bulk and whenever they do not have much requirements on the project and whenever they do not have current projects in the pipeline what they do is they do these kinds of thing that they uh, reject candidates based on different uh, reasons right so what you can do as a fresher if you are a fresher and you are also uh, having an offer letter of one of these company try to gather more and more offers at least two to three offers so that you have a safe side along with uh, one offer letter and what you can do is looking at the current scenario that is the uh, recession period please start preparing and upskill yourself i am creating a playlist on reasoning and aptitude on my channel and already two topics are completed that is blood relation and uh, direction topic is completed now the next topic is going to come very soon so make sure that you learn from these videos on aptitude and reasoning and prepare yourself for the best in the for the upcoming time 
let's move ahead and now look at the topic of layoff from the wipro so two weeks ago business today reported that it service wipro has laid off hundreds of employees after they failed the company's internal test sources alleged that 800 freshers were sacked off from wipro while the company claimed that the termination were limited to 452 people so wipro let go of 452 freshers after poor performance in the assessment so you can see that the they, the reason that the companies are giving is same that the Freshers are not able to qualify the assessments which uh, previously like in the previous years they were no there was no such issues and right now sudden of out of a sudden these kinds of things have came into existence and all of these articles that we can read wherein it is mentioned that Wipro has also let go of 452 uh, candidates now this 452 is the count that the company is giving so for sure if the company is mentioning that the count is 52 the count is definitely more than 452 and it is somewhere around 800 so in the past few months Wipro has also fired or terminated 800 freshers okay and let's now talk about the onboarding updates from Wipro so first of all this is the mail that the candidates have been receiving for, uh, in the past few days so this is related to the ICIMS profile update so company has sent some mail to the candidates asking for them to complete their profile on the ICIMS portal so just in case if you have also received this mail please make sure that you complete a profile on the ICIMS portal and only if you have got this mail make sure to do so otherwise don't do it if your friend has got it you do not have to do uh, this only your friend needs to do it next thing is Wipro's next onboarding date is 13th of February so now this date is for Wilp candidates and currently for Elite and Turbo there is no onboarding or joining date is given from the company the last joining date for the Elite was 30th of December and after that there is no joining date and for Turbo also there is no joining date as of now so let's see what is the expected elite, uh, joining dates for elite and turbo candidates so elite candidates can receive their joinings in the first quarter so the first quarter we are saying this based on the statement by the chro so recently we have seen an article in which the chro was, has mentioned that they will try to con onboard all the remaining candidates that is the elite ones in the first quarter of this year so the first quarter is basically until may uh, april may so all the elite candidates can get their joinings until that time and the turbo candidates can also expect their joinings in the first quarter basically Wipro has this uh, uh, habit that they first give the joinings to the will candidates after that they give the onboarding to the elite and then the chance of turbo comes so basically the chance for turbo candidates for getting onboarding is a little bit less as of now previously company has mentioned that they will try to onboard all the candidates in turbo candidates in february but looking at the current scenario even though the even the elite candidates are not yet onboarded so this is the onboarding updates as of now so if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section related to your joinings of Wipro right now we have seen that this is the latest updates as of now for the Wipro if you have any more updates let me know in the comment section and I will bring it to the audience in the next video make sure to join us on different social media platforms like telegram and Instagram and make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't done yet thanks for watching the video